Hey, Ray Delvecchio here from WebsiteProfitCourse.com. And today, I want to go through what is basically the ultimate guide to setting your WordPress homepage. And this seems obvious. You know, I just went through a tutorial with the theme you're looking at, which is 2024. It's the latest theme released by WordPress, and they make it really easy to create a design for your homepage. But that's not always the case. In fact, it can be confusing where you set the homepage design and how to do it, and that's completely dependent on what theme you have installed. In fact, I tried to map out every scenario, and I came up with this flowchart. So I'm gonna clean this up, and if you wanna download it, I'll link that up in the description below as well. But I'd like to go through most of these cases so you have a complete understanding of how WordPress is actually serving the homepage. So the first question here is, does the active theme support full site editing? And if the answer is yes, it's as simple as creating a front page template, which may or may not be part of your block theme. This full site editing feature was enabled with the release of WordPress 2022. I think that was the first theme that had it. So right now this is 2024. So let's go back to our WordPress dashboard and we'll go to the appearance section. And I've installed a handful of themes here. So the easy way to tell if you have full site editing enabled is if you look at your active theme and you go over to this appearance menu, and all you see is themes and editor. This means that you have visual editing built in because all the options that used to be under this appearance menu are now under the visual editor. And if we activate a theme like Generate Press, which does not have full site editing built in by default, you see these other options, the customize, the widgets, the menus, and then Generate Press, they build in their own theme options. So this is how you used to customize. It used to be a lot through an options page and not so much editing with a drag and drop style editor. So let me reactivate 2024. We'll jump into our editor and then let's go to the template section. This is a list of our templates and we can also go to manage all templates to see them within the big panel here. We do not have a front page template. Our front page is being run by the blog home template. And you're gonna see the difference here in just a moment. If you'd like to create from scratch a completely new home page. You can click add new template and you're going to want to add a front page template and that takes precedence over everything else. So if we go back to the flow chart here, we don't have a front page template. So the next question is, is the custom home page set? Now this is a setting that I pretty much always use because for the most part, I'm building small business websites. I don't want the blog post showing on the home page, which is how WordPress is set up by default. So if you go over to the settings reading section, this is where you set your home page. So like I said, by default, it's going to be set to your latest posts, but you can click a static page and you can select from the pages that you have created over within the pages section here and then manually set your home page and your blog page. So I created this test page, home test. That's what I'm going to set the home page to. And then I'll set the post page to the blog. Let me save these changes and let's take a look at our home page now. And you can see that our home page, instead of showing that great design, we're just using the home test page, which, like I said, is located over here within the pages section. This all comes back to the WordPress theme template hierarchy. Before, this was all done with PHP files, which you're going to see in a moment here as we activate an older theme. Now it's done through the Visual Builder. And here's the WordPress developer page where this graphic is embedded. And with the older themes, before block themes were a thing, you'd have a bunch of PHP files in your theme, and that's what creates your pages on the front end. So we're basically going through this line here, the site front page, frontpage.php. That's pretty much what that front page template acts as on the visual builder. And what we just showed you was the custom home page, whether that's set or not. And that has to do with this line here. So if we manually choose a page to show on our home page, that's going to be run by the page template, which that's what's happening over here. This is the page template running this page, and we set this to the home page. <laughs> so you can see how confusing all this gets with the terminology. If we follow this line here, we go to our fallbacks, which are home.php. You're going to see that in a few moments here. And then everything defaults to index.php. So let's go back to our visual editor, and you can see that our home page layout is being created by the blog home template. So if you look at the description here, it shows that the blog home template displays the latest posts as either the site homepage or the post page as defined under the reading settings, which we just went through. Now we have a completely custom layout here, so this is not showing any blog posts. This is just a custom built full width layout that comes built in with WordPress 2024. So let's go back to this flow chart again. You can see that if you have the custom homepage set, you edit the page content directly. 
If you don't have the custom home page set, then you're going to edit your blog home template. And you can see the little note I put in here that the custom home page is run by the page template, not the front page template or the blog home template. <laughs> Now the other complicating factor within this, which I have noted over here, is that if you have dynamic content built in, you may have your template built like the front page template, but let's say you have your custom home page set, there's also a way to add your home page content by using the content block, the post content block within WordPress, and you may kind of have an integration of these two things where you have the front page template, you're editing that visually, but you're pulling the home page content from an actual page within WordPress. Now let's go to a theme that doesn't have full site editing enabled. We can either do this with Generate Press or one of the older WordPress developed themes. Let's go back and go to the appearance theme section and we'll activate 2021. So this is, I believe the last WordPress theme that does not have visual editing built in. So let's activate it. You can see our menu options over here telling us that full site editing is not enabled on this site. We'll go back to our flow chart. And now the first thing that you wanna ask is whether or not a child theme is installed. Now the reason for this is that we're gonna be editing the PHP files directly. That's how you used to do all this template editing before. And if you're editing a template file, you save it, you upload it to your web server. Well, whenever WordPress puts an update out for that theme, in our case, 2021, your template file customizations are gonna be overwritten. So this is why you have a child theme installed. And basically the child theme just uses all of the template files from the parent theme, unless you copy and paste into your child theme, in which case your child theme customizations are gonna overwrite whatever is within that parent theme. So just to skip a step here, I'm not gonna install a child theme. It's very easy to do if you're using an older theme and you can look how to do it. There's a plugin that can help you with it or you can do it manually. Basically a child theme, all it needs is a functions.php file and a style.css file. And you really don't need any customizations at all. The child theme is just there that if you wanna do them, they won't get overwritten when the parent theme's updated. So let's assume that we have a child theme installed and you wanna look for frontpage.php. So if it doesn't exist, we can create that. So let's go into FileZilla. This is my favorite FTP program to show our web server directories. And I'm gonna navigate into the WP content folder, the themes folder, and this is where all our themes are. And like I said, if you create a child theme, you're gonna have a separate directory for this child theme. And it's just gonna be called whatever your parent theme is. So in our case, 2021 dash, and then whatever you wanna tag that with, child, or if you have a specific type of website you're building, you can create a child theme with that name. I'm gonna go into our parent theme 2021. And these are all the template files that make up this website. So if you look at the ones that begin with F, we don't have frontpage.php, which means we can create a frontpage.php. Now, how will we go about creating it? And the answer is you would just copy one of these other template files and edit that. So if we remember the template hierarchy, if we have a custom homepage set, that's gonna use page.php. This is the template that runs all our pages. If we don't have that set, we can also create home.php. That's a little bit lower on the hierarchy. And if all of that fails, then we're gonna default to index.php. So what you might wanna do is copy either index.php or page.php. And with a program like FileZilla, you can just copy this over to your local computer. So I'm gonna do page.php. I have it copied over here and I'm gonna bring it up in Notepad++. And you can see how simple this is. The, the template basically just uses a PHP function to get the header, get the footer. These are all the tasks that got transferred over to the visual builder by using template parts. And then the content of the page is created by this while loop. And this is where you would have to know some of these WordPress functions to be able to customize your page. And you can also mix in HTML. You can break the PHP and write HTML code. And then if you wanted to style it, you had to update the style.css. So let me copy over index.php. We'll take a look at this file as well. And index.php shows you this mixed PHP and HTML format where we're using PHP conditional statements in order to show HTML. And I'm gonna add another heading in here just to show you how our template edits appear on the front end. So we're gonna end up changing this index.php to front dash page dot php and i'll just put this is the front page template so let's save that and actually i'm not quite sure if it's going to show with these conditional statements so let me drag and drop this outside of the conditional area i'll cut that and i'll just put it right after the header so let's save i'm going to rename this let me actually exit out of notepad plus plus 
so I don't get an error there. And I'll rename index.php to front-page.php and we'll upload it. Like I said, you would wanna upload this to your child theme, but just to save a step here, I'm gonna upload this right to our parent theme, which again, we don't wanna do because it might get overwritten or deleted upon an update. And let's check it out on the front end. So I'll refresh our homepage and you can see we have the new theme installed 2021 and our little line here, this is the front page template is showing because WordPress is using that PHP file to generate our homepage. And as I mentioned, if we go back to that flow chart, if front.php exists, we're just gonna edit the template as we just did. But this same note here applies that we dynamically have the content from that home test page because our custom homepage is also set. So these two things are integrated, which that's up to you whether or not you wanna do that. Now let's change frontpage.php to home.php and we should see how the hierarchy works because like I said, front page has the highest precedence. If front page isn't set, then we drop down here to asking whether or not a custom home page is set, which it is, we have that home test set. So let's go back to FileZilla and all I'm gonna do is rename frontpage.php to home.php and we'll refresh our front end. And like I said, I think it's gonna show the home test page, but it's not gonna be showing this message because it's not gonna use the home template. So let me reload. We have the content of the home test page. Now let's go back into the WordPress settings and we'll reset that custom home page. We're gonna reset it to your latest posts. Instead of showing our latest posts or that static home page, it's now gonna use home.php. So let's reload, and that's exactly what we have. It's showing our front page template, which is actually our home.php since I renamed it, and it's grabbing the post as opposed to the page content from our custom home page. <laughs> like I said, you could see how confusing this is, but really, it's not that hard if you just go and test it on your own website. I mean, look at your home page, see what content is there, and you're gonna have to work your way back to figure out where that content's coming from. So if you have a block theme, Go to your appearance editor section and look at your templates there. If you have an older theme as we do, go into FileZilla and look at your raw web files on the server. And if you don't want to deal with code, I highly recommend that you upgrade to a block theme like 2024. That way you can build everything visually. So if you were confused about this, I hope this helps you out. And like I mentioned, go ahead and download this flow chart from the description below and you can use it based on what theme you have installed. If you're relatively new to WordPress, I highly recommend that you check out my free WordPress training. You can go to that from websiteprofitcourse.com slash WP101 or the links in the description below. And I take you through all the main components of WordPress, including the backend, the database, how things work and how to put together a website. I think you'll have a great understanding of how everything works together if you go through that. If you're already at that point and you want to start freelancing with your skills, you can go to my homepage, websiteprofitcourse.com to download a cheat sheet. 15 tools to start your web design business. Of course, that includes WordPress, but there's a few others on there that you might not know about. Last but not least, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Make sure you subscribe to my channel for more WordPress tutorials and freelancing videos. And if for some reason I missed a scenario where you can edit your homepage content, maybe you're using a theme that has a special way to do it, let me know in the comments below. And if you'd like to keep on learning, check out the related videos that are linked here.